It's December 25th, and we're at Fanny's Diary. 1942. Today, we had Christmas at our house instead of at Grandma Knott's. I made duck for dinner, and then we all went and visited Leander Gantz in the evening. What a beautiful day it has been. and welcome to Christmas Day. Christmas Day on the homestead. What a fun day that we are going to have. In fact, it's just my hubby and I. Our children are all off to their in-laws and we always spend Christmas Day with my husband and I. I will have my meal and I will have all of the festivities later after Christmas. So, it's a quiet day. It's a day that we are going to relax and just have some fun and I have some special food that I'm going to have for just my hubby and I and enjoy our Christmas day. So I hope whatever you're doing this morning or this afternoon or this evening, I hope you feel the peace that passes all understanding and I hope you know that no matter what you're going through in life, you're not alone and maybe you're having fun and, you're, and laughing and you're having the time of your life. I want you to know that we are laughing with you and smiling with you and so happy with you. Maybe you're crying. Maybe your Christmas wasn't exactly what you wished it would be. I want you to know that we cry with you. We feel your pain and we understand. Every year our Christmases are different. There's been Christmases of my life that were very sad and I just wanted to get the day over with. There were Christmases in my life where I was very happy and excited and I was like a child again. And I remember those Christmases. Maybe you're like me. Maybe your Christmases are a lot like your past memories. Maybe you think of your Christmases when you were a child and the wonderment of the presents under the tree and the tinsel. I remember the tinsel. I also remember my mama would spray some pine smelling stuff all over her fake Christmas tree. It smelled like pine. I remember all of these things. I remember the food and the smell of all of the amazing treats. My mother was a very good cook. I don't do those things anymore, but they're in my heart. I remember all of the ornaments my mama had. My mother was not a person who kept things, so through the years those things got destroyed. But I do have one thing, one thing that is a childhood memory. I'm going to share it with you today. The candle was long gone, but the angel I kept. And this was the Christmas angel. And one of the things I remember about this angel was the tear under her eye. There are two tears under her eyes. At least to me, I thought they were tears. And as a child, I always wondered why was the angel crying? Maybe you guys can explain it. better and maybe it's not tears but as a child it always seemed like tears to me and I always wondered why was she crying and this is the only thing I have in my childhood that is tangible of Christmas I will never get rid of this angel I've never seen this angel since not one like this and it's very old because it was very old when I was a little girl and so and I was born in the 70 1970 so this was old and looked like this when I was a little girl 
Maybe you guys can tell me, have you ever seen an angel like this? I hope you have a great Christmas. Take care. God bless, and we'll see you guys too. Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so.